what is up guys this is Tiro back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna show you the Reset X Remix from 14th March 2019 bell on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and I know I know you guys have been waiting for the Redmi Note 7 Pro video but the Redmi Note 7 Pro is yet to deliver and the delivery guy I contacted him and he said that it's gonna be delivered on like 4 or 5 p.m. today so I'm not gonna make a video like today or upload a video today on the Redmi Note 7 Pro maybe tomorrow I will do it let's just continue the video on the Reset X Remix ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro right now and the stock launcher over here is the Trebuchet launcher and to the left we have the Google Now cards and you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get the notification panel or the quick settings panel and let me just show you the home screen settings over here this is how it looks like and as you can see we do not get the double tap to sleep or something like that in the home screen but we do have the double tap to sleep on status bar lock screen etc so just keep in mind that there is no like double tap to sleep on the home screen or any double tap gesture for that matter and over here let's go into settings and show you guys the about section quickly over here and and inside android version we have the like resurrection remix logo on top and android version is 9 of course android pie let me just go back and here as you can see we have the 14th march 2019 build 7.0.1 official build and the security patch is of march 5th 2019 and the vendor security patch says january 1st 2019 and here is the stock kernel version derp kernel and the build date build number is there again and if you go into systems and advanced over here you will see the updater and from here you can update your rom like whenever a new update comes so this is a pretty great feature that we have the like ot updates over here and this is this build is like the resurrection remix build almost stopped because somebody like some people were like toxic to the developers so in my opinion those guys should back off and just like go off the community they should not just bother the developers in my opinion like the developers of these roms just does these works like these many works for almost free like for no money at all and they really work hard on these roms so that we can enjoy the roms on our devices so i don't think any kind of bug or something just like say politely that there is the bug to the developer if you want to but don't abuse him so in my opinion you should not even think about abusing the developers because they really work hard for the community but almost for free and they just rely on the donations they get so in my opinion you should not even think about it and just support the developers so this ROM is out there right now with the latest build and this is a great that Resurrection Remix is back for the Redmi Note 5 Pro and here we have the Resurrection tools and we get all the customizations we need. Of course the Resurrection Remix has been king of customizations though right now it does not have the double tap to sleep and stuff on the home screen features but maybe in the future it's gonna be available in the like future builds but right now it's not the case but over here still we get a lot of customizations and over here you can see you can customize the clock the like network traffic indicator battery style we have the status bar weather brand logo notification ticker system ui icons and over here of course we do have the volte icons and volte on both the sims works fine and even dual volte works over here and in the in call ui we do have call recording stuff like the normal call recording options and even you can like use video calling with 4g so that is how it is and we have this status bar gestures and here as you can see i'm controlling the brightness with the status bar gesture and it's it's working fine i don't have any complaints regarding that and here we have the status bar items like bluetooth headset etc icons let me just swipe to quick settings and over here you can enable transparency you can change the quick setting like animation quick pull down is there in advanced we have the vibrate on touch toggles pretty cool inside recent you can change the recent style to pi or oreo so that is just great and we have the like in the power menu we do have the advanced reboot and stuff and as you can see if you tap on restart it will show you that like options like restart to system recovery bootloader or system ui and here we have the always use fingerprint scanner like whenever you reboot you don't have to enter the pin you just have to tap the fingerprint scanner to unlock so that feature is still there face auto unlock is there too charging info you can enable it you can change the like lock screen clock font size or even date size you can change the fonts too and if you want face unlock well yes the face unlock is there in the like customization settings and if you go into security and inside smart lock and from here you will find this trusted face option so you can set a face unlock without any issues and i have flashed the micro g apps just once i did not need to flash the g apps two times 
and media cover art option is there animations we have the like crt simple fade color fade scale etc options and you can change the whole ui animation and you can even change this like resurrection remix animation over here this resurrection remix customizable animation so you can change whole ui animation over here you don't need to worry and from here you can have the weather customization and stuff and in the lock screen as you can see we have the weather and it does work fine it does like update time to time i don't have any issues but you have to set up the weather from here just letting you guys know and over here we have the interface and from here you can change the fonts and stuff we have plethora of options but not as much as have a quiz or something but yeah we have like plenty of options over here and you can change the dpi the display size gesture anywhere feature is there you can disable heads up and inside misc you can disable the wake up on plug and vibrate on usb plug i like these features a lot and three finger screenshot gesture 2 is here as you can see and blink flashlight on call this feature is pretty cool and it is from miui so it works flawlessly and what else should i show you the screenshot option is there smart pixels is there although it is not of any use with ips displays and in the system ui tuner you have the normal system ui tuner stuff we have the pie control like the pie gesture control and volume panel and stuff like you can enable the ring and stuff if you want to so that whenever you tap the volume panel it's gonna show you the ring option or the alarm or voice or whatever you want and inside navigation we have the edit nav bar option and from like over here you can change the navigation bar to smart bar or fling you can adjust the height and you can change the like layout to over here if you want to and uh, let me just like disable it and over here you can change the portrait and landscape height of course one handed mode is there so that you can just swipe like this so to like enable the one handed mode and as you can see it works fine you can change the like sides from here as you can see change is the sides and you can tap the blank area to like make it full screen again and we have the pulse option from here and as you can see the visualization of pulse does work super fine let me just go back inside buttons we have the normal like button stuff long press power button for torch is there so toggling the torch when the device is locked is not a problem and over here you can change the like power dialog over here as you can see we have the advanced reboot option over here you can change the opacity of power menu too so that is pretty cool but i don't think there are the gestures i guess as you can see we have this kind of gestures like you can just swipe up like this the one plus kind of gestures but we do not have the edge gestures i guess over here the full screen edge gestures which shows the animations like the miui or something it is not present over here so keep that in mind now let me talk about the stock camera over here of course we have the mi a2's camera as default camera like it's almost a bar right now so we have the default mi a2's camera and it works fine and we do have the camera to api over here so you can install like google camera over here and as you can see i did install it and it's working fine no issues whatsoever portrait mode and stuff does work fine too and from here you, as you can see we do have the audio fx we do not get the mi audio direct over here but the sound output is not that great like the mi audio direct but it is fine i do not have any huge issues regarding the sound output via the headphone jack and google pay does work super fine right out of the box you don't need to worry and here is the enter score of this rom and in terms of gaming you can play like pubg on hd and high settings you don't need to worry and in terms of battery life i'm getting around 7 to 8 hours of screen on time so i don't have any issues and let me go into the display settings and show you here we have the live display you can change the color profile like however you want and this works just fine you can change the color temperature too so a lot of like display color customization options and let me just disable this i think live display is on yeah that is why the display was yellow and over here like style option is there you can change the style to automatic like wallpaper and time of the day and light and dark option is there by the like device theme kind of and inside accent colors we have these many accent colors you can change however you want and dark mode is there so that you can change it to like full black and over here you have the font and display size changing option expanded desktop is there some people just asked me about this so expanded desktop is th there in this rom and full screen apps are there and you can enable it if you want to like you can set individual full screen apps and we have the font stuff over here too and double tap to wake and double tap to sleep both are there let me just show you and let me just unlock the screen with the fingerprint scanner so as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty fast over here and it is faster than most roms in my opinion i'll show you again 
so as you can see the fingerprint scanner is almost blazing fast no issues whatsoever the, this is most fastest fingerprint scanner i have seen in the custom roms and let me just clear all the apps from memory and let's open some apps from the like over here and show you guys the app open up speeds ram management and the animation stuff over here So as you can see it does the android pie kind of animation so there are no issues regarding that and apps does open pretty quickly over here no issues whatsoever and let me show you if the apps are in memory so yes the ui is pretty smooth it does not stutter at all while opening like apps from memory the ram management is still amazing over here and in my opinion you can definitely flash this official resurrection remix from of course resurrection remix is back on track on the redmi note 5 pro with android pie and it is working super fine so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from carry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one with the redmi note 7 pro video i hope it comes by the evening today so that is it guys bye bye now